what's good everybody it's your boy back with another video and in today's video we're going to talk about regrets uh, I know you guys probably remember this video right here the three sneakers that I regret buying in today's video we're going to talk about three sneakers that I regret losing and let's go ahead and get right into it So the first sneaker that I regret giving up are these right here. The Nike Air Barkley Posits. These were a combination of the Charles Barkley sneaker line and of the phone posits, which were really popular a handful of years ago. And so they combined both of them. These are the eggplant colorway. Uh, I had a lot of, uh, I got a lot of eyes on these shoes, man, when I used to rock them, man. I, I loved them. They were pretty comfortable for, for phone posits. I know phone posits are a little stiff, but, you know, th these were some of my favorite shoes for the life of me. I don't know why I got rid of them. Uh, I should have kept them. Um, trying to keep my eyes on StockX and GOAT to see if maybe they have some for a nice little price. I could probably get, buy me another pair, if not. I might just have to chalk it up as a loss, but this is the first shoe. This is the of the one of the three shoes that I regretted losing. And for regret number two, these right here, the Reebok Question Mid Georgetowns. Now I know there are some new ones that came out in blue that people are calling the Georgetowns, but these are the original Georgetowns right here. Um, I don't know why I got rid of these. Me being a question fan, I, I love the questions. Uh, I kick myself every day when I think about how I got rid of these. I should have kept them. Um, once again, I'm looking on StockX and GOAT and you know sites like that to try to see if maybe I can get them for a nice price and just put them back in my collection. If not, like I said before, I'm just gonna have to take the L. But hopefully I can get them, uh, you know, for a nice little price, uh, probably soon. I don't know. I just have to kind of wait and see. But yeah, these right here are another regret that I had. And for that final regret, I definitely regret not keeping these. Is these right here? These are the LeBron 8 PS, the player exclusives, uh, the black, uh, red, and white joints. Um, I barely wore these shoes when I had them, you know, and when I found them, I, I, I got lucky. I got lucky when I found them and for what I paid for them, I got lucky. I can't remember the price offhand, but they were definitely under $100 at the time. So I got really, really lucky. And when I seen them, luckily they were in my size, like the only pair they had left. And so I had to cop them, I jumped on them. And uh, so when I, uh, I was, think I was looking online or something on like uh, Instagram or something and I saw uh, they had somebody posted a picture of these and I kind of thought to myself, why, why did I get rid of these, you know? And so this is another shoe where I really regret getting rid of them. I wish I had kept them. Um, to tell you the truth, I got rid of a lot of my LeBrons. Uh, I think I got one pair left and I, I used those to walk my dogs in and so, uh, like I said, you know, I, I kind of, I like the LeBron line, the, the older LeBron line. Some of the stuff, you know, more recently is a little, doing a little too much for me as far, as far as like size. It's just, they look really bulky, but these right here, man, were very sleek. They're very comfortable. And I don't know why for the life of me, I got rid of them. All right, guys. And that's my list of regrets for more content like this, please like and subscribe to the channel for more content like this and go ahead and comment down below uh are there shoes that you regretted ever losing selling or in just not having any more in, in general go ahead and let me know down in the comment section and like i said please like and subscribe to the channel and for me that's it i'm out